Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Frederick Bear. Thank you for your continued support. And I needed to dive in here, okay, and, and do another truth about something here, y'all. Listen, I know we hear a lot of people out there referring to uh, narcissistic abusers as being broken or as people being broken, and I need to set the record straight, okay? God stepped in and says, I stand corrected if I have ever thought, I mean, we all go through the learning process and things like that, all right? So now it's time to, to set the record straight, all right? In a I stand corrected kind of way, all right? Because it was, you know, sometimes it takes that additional education and training to help renew the mind and change that thinking, okay? Because when we hear that, what what does that make you think of as a human being being broke? I'm not talking about <laughs> I'm not talking about broken bones or anything like that. Okay, I'm not talking about you know things that ha I'm not. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about the the person themselves being broken. Okay, this is why the narcissistic abusers think that they are broken. Right? Not all of them do. The ones who are aware of what they are. And they'll, they'll come out and admit that, oh, yeah, they, they will tell you that they're a god. All right? Mm-hmm. Some of us have heard them say that or something similar to that. All right? All right? Those are your full-blown, they don't care. They like, uh, look, they like their demon spirit, whatever. We, we leave it at that. I'm talking about the ones who are uh, always, uh, yeah, they got the victim. In, I mean, full-blown ones do, too. They've got the victim mentality, but not quite as strong as the rest of them, okay? There's a difference, all right? But we're talking about the ones who go around with the woe-me pity parties all the time, okay? Because they, 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 they do. They, they've adopted that label of, uh, I'm broken, I need fixing. So they think that their target, when they set their eyes on one of God's chosen ones, they think their target can fix them. Remember, only Jesus saves, okay? All right, but before you get lost in a message or go tackling another tie, while listening, all right, let's make sure the video gets a thumbs up so that other fellow chosen survivors can get the message as well. So, a thank you in advance. And I want to go ahead and point something out. All right, what do we know about narcissistic abusers? Okay, they view humans as objects. Right. Objects that can be, you know, played with like a toy. And then once they get bored with it, they put that toy on the shelf or in the toy box. Okay, they discard it. And, and go after the next new shiny object. Okay? Because they view people as objects. Alright? Objects are the things that can be broken. Okay? A glass, a plate, or whatever. Okay? An object that can be broken. Uh-huh. You see where I'm going with this. Okay, so there is one side, okay, not the salutogenic approach, okay, on the, with, for those of us who are trauma-informed and we use the salutogenic approach, we understand this better, that people, no, people are not broken, okay, we go through traumatic events and things like that, but no, we're not broken, okay, because after all, we can be healed, right, and with, with here at Consulting for Heightened Awareness, it's with God's wisdom, with Jesus, we can be healed, okay? All right, now, it doesn't mean the narcissistic abuser is broken. No, they too could be if they would choose, okay? Sure, if they would choose, all right, to, to really want to heal and, and choose Jesus and accept Jesus as their one and only Savior and admit that God is above all and not themselves. If they would do that, let go of their ego and that high pride, Okay, then they, they could heal too. So, they're they're not broken. Uh-uh, they're hanging on to that woe-me pity party victim mentality, all right, so that they can uh, play that part, all right, play that part. And because they see people as objects, all right, so that's why we have that narrative going around out there that broken, that people are broken. And I'm going to tell y'all, I started seeing the meme go around about that. I was like, hold on a second. It's just not resonating. Um, you know, it's not resonating well with me. And I, and I, and I was wondering. I kept asking God, why is this not sitting right? It's like it's not sitting right anymore. It, it just doesn't make sense. You know, like I said, the further along we get in spiritual awakening in God's reality, the more the stuff from the world it, it's just not going to resonate anymore. Okay, because people themselves are not broken. That's why. You know, God made us in His perfect image. 
Okay? We experienced traumatic events, but it didn't break us. No. Alright? That's contrary to popular belief. I know. But I'm not here to be popular. Did y'all know that? <laughs> okay, we're not here looking for popularity. Mm -mm, no. We're here doing God's perfect will to help others heal and grow spiritually. Get closer to God. So they can overcome the trauma, learn the red flag, not get trauma bonded to another narcissistic abuser. Okay, that's what we're here for. Well, we don't care about popularity. All right, that no, that would be a narc. All right, that cares about popularity. All right, and so God, hey, God is going to do what He's going to do. Okay, whatever happens, happens. All right, I'm not. And listen, look, this is all about helping y'all. Okay, but people are not broken. No. Okay, it may feel that way. You might feel like okay, you got a broken heart. Okay, but that doesn't make the person broken. No. Okay. No, 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 no. All right, because that means you're insinuating that that person is an object. There's the connection. You know, if you're referring to a human being as being broken, then that means that we're, we're looking at that human being as though they're an object. And that's what narcissistic abusers do. We want to be mindful of that. That's why it didn't sit right on my spirit. Okay, because I was like, wait a second. That's insinuating that the person is an object that can be broken. Now, you might have some hurt and a broken heart, quote-unquote, you know, um, going through things, all things that can be overcome. After all, a broken heart can be mended. Yes, even though there is some truth on the whole, you know, if you break a person's trust, so to speak, you know, it, it's not going to look the same if you try to put it back together, okay? Seriously, there, you know, there's some truth there. But bottom line, the person as a whole, that's what I'm talking about. The actual human being being broke. And I was like, no, nah, see, because now then you're going to, then you're trying to trick people into viewing other human beings, you know, like, like a survivor of abuse who, you know, they would refer to as being broken. That's a subtle trick of the enemy to try and get you to be referring to that survivor as an object. See, this is why the narc abuser got tricked into and they are deceived. And this is why they view others as objects because the world has ingrained that in their head so it's like okay wait a minute all right so you know, so they they go around thinking that people are uh, people bro uh, broken that people can be broken and so that's why they're looking at people as objects and it no that doesn't make sense that's not right Right, like, because if we're if we're able to view uh, if we are viewing human beings as an object, that means we lack empathy and compassion. No, can't do that. Right? See, there's a difference. This is another. This is a big reason why the narcissistic abusers don't have the empathy and the compassion. There's other reason. Okay, there's other reason, but this one ties into it. It's because they view people as objects. So because they view people as objects that can be easily replaced. Okay, that means they also can view the object as being broken or flawed. Because remember what the narcissistic abusers do. You know, they, they see their target as the you know, being perfect in every way. Blah, 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 blah. Putting them up on a pedestal. But as soon as they see that their target is a actual human being, uh-oh, that person's broken. And, and they, they start to see the... That's their mindset. Okay? That's exactly what happens. And that's when the the, the uh, discard, devaluing, all that starts. Because, of course, the devaluing starts early on, too. We just missed it in the very beginning. Many of us did. All right, but it, it really gets ramped up once they see that we're not perfect. And that we do have some flaws. But guess what? Our flaws are what makes us unique and beautiful in God's eyes. Okay? And see, the enemy knows that. Is that what the world considers a flaw? God is it's a blessing. Okay? We consider a blessing from God. The world sees it as a flaw. We, chosen one, we see it as a blessing. There you go. It's a blessing from God for whatever reason. Okay? That's how he made us unique and beautiful in his image. Now, remember that. And so the enemy knows this. And so once the narc abuser recognizes or sees that, uh -oh, that we're a, a basic a human being with, with natural flaws, quirks, what have you, and that we're not perfect, uh, once they see that, they automatically shift and that mindset that they have been programmed with to view, uh-oh, that target's broken, just like a toy, an object. 
Okay, and so now they gotta go find something that's not broken. What is so weird about the whole thing, though, well, it's not really weird, but, because it's predictable, but it is strange how if all the, the new supplies don't work out, and then they come back to the old supply that they've already de deemed as broken in the first place, and so that would be why the abuse is ten times worse if we go back to them. Because you got to remember that. And they've already got it now in their minds that we're broken. But hey, we were a good source of supply for a little while. So let's try again. But they'll not forget. Because they're still going to see you as an object. So they're just going to ramp up the abuse. Okay? So there you go. Alright, so we really want to move away from. Alright, y'all? This is a new movement. Let's move away from calling people broken. Okay? Because they're not. All right, we don't want any of y'all survivors out there thinking you're broken. You're not broken, okay? Because Jesus heals, all right? You're not an object, okay? So you're not broken. You got a little hurt, okay? You got a little traumatized, all right? Or a lot traumatized, whatever. All of that can be overcome, all right? But with the salutogenic approach, right? With God's wisdom, okay? Knowing that, hey, everybody's circumstance is different, all right, we're all going to experience different things with the different flavors of these narc. But we do not need to be advocating for nor promoting that people are broken because they're not. All right, Jesus healed. Okay, so there you go. Set the record straight. All right, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. So for additional information, insight, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.